Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Twinkle123 and today we are going to be making candied yams. This is how I make my candied yams. Um, I have been making them like this for a little while. Um, I've seen them made different ways. I've seen them made you know, really candied. I've seen them made a little bit light. I like mine a little bit lighter. So um, mine is going to be just a little bit lighter. Um, I'm not making a lot, so that's why I only have um, two sweet potatoes. I have about a pound of sweet potatoes um, here that I have not peeled yet, but I will be peeling. Um, I have some brown sugar. I got about half of, um, about probably like one four, two fourths of a cup. So about half a cup of brown sugar. Um, I have some um, um, ground cinnamon. And I have some nutmeg. I have about uh, probably about like two tablespoons of each. And then I have about a cup of sugar. Uh, well, maybe like three, four cups of sugar here. And then of course I have some unsalted butter. I'm um, right here. I have about um, four, four tablespoons of um, unsalted butter. So I'm going to go ahead and get these washed off real good and cut up. I'm going to cube them. They're going to be um, probably about like half an inch to an inch in size so I'm going to go ahead and get that done and then we will be back with um, how I get them started on the stove okay oh and I forgot to say that I'm going to peel these first <laughs> let's just cut them up but I'm going to peel them first and then cut them up so I have my handy dandy um, um, potato peeler here vegetable peeler whatever you want to call it so I'm going to peel them first then I'm going to cut them up and then we're going to head to the stove <laughs> Okay, and I just wanted to show you how they look after I was finished peeling them. Um, this is how they look. All right, and so now I'm going to go ahead and um, chop them up. Um, I've washed them and they're ready to go, so I'll be back when I have have them chopped up. Alrighty. Okay, so as you can see, I'm back and I have them um, chopped up. So as you see, they're about half a uh, about half um, an ounce. I mean half an inch to an inch big I don't like to make them too small because when they're heating sometimes um, the small ones cook really fast and they turn to mush so I try to keep them all around this size about average I mean sometimes of course you see I have smaller sizes but I try to keep them around that size so that they can all cook at the same time and then they don't they don't get too mushy so we're gonna get ready to take it over here and you see I've, I got me a little saucepan and I went ahead and, and um, put them in the bottom of them here so we're gonna go to the stove and then we're gonna um get get these to start cooking okay okay so we're over here at the stove now so i got it on my back burner um we are going to um do it about medium here so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this to about yeah it's about medium here i don't want it to cook too too fast but i don't want it to cook too too slow so we have it here um i like to go ahead for myself i add about half a cup of water um, and that's kind of how I do it because I like it to be a little bit lighter. But if you don't, if you want yours to be really thick and candy, you can skip the water altogether. So we're going to go ahead and put in our butter here. Alrighty. And then our nutmeg and some, and you just kind of drape it over, over all of them. Alright, our nutmeg and our cinnamon is going in now. And now we're going to go ahead and put in our brown sugar. Alrighty. And then last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, we got to put in that, that sugar. And you see there's a lot of sugar. Um, so that's going to make it thick. That's going to thicken up that, that um, water. And it's going to make it really good and and candied which is what we're looking for um like i said that water is going to make it just not as thick as it normally would be so if you don't want if you want yours really really thick skip the water the water can be optional so we're going to go ahead and um put this on and let that start cooking down and then we'll kind of stir all that in as it's cooking down um i'd say we'll probably um give it about mm, 20 minutes or so 20 25 minutes um we will be going back throughout though to just check on it check the texture of the potatoes make sure they're not getting too soft so um you know hopefully um as you're cooking this you can kind of you know put your your utensil in there to kind of tell when it's just right for you because some people like theirs a little softer than others i like mine soft but not 
mushy so i'm gonna keep an eye out on it so we're gonna keep it going for about 20 25 minutes and then we'll go from there all right i'll be back y'all <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and check on our sweet yams, sweet candy jams, see kind of where they are. Ooh. Alrighty, so it's been about about 25, 30 minutes or so. So I'm just kinda going to Ooh. They smell so good guys. I'm sure if you're if you're cooking this, you can smell how good they they smell. And as you can see, um um, the juice at the bottom, it's it's not too thick, which is how I like mine. Like I said, if you didn't want, if you didn't do the water, your your um, juice at the bottom is gonna be much thicker than mine is. But oh, they're coming off really good, and you see how they're softening up here. So it's probably not gonna be that much longer because, like I said, depending on how you like yours, I don't like mine too too um, soft. So I'm probably gonna cook mine for about another five or so minutes um just to get that in there and then i'm gonna let them rest a little bit so that they can um thicken up just a little bit okay so another five minutes and we should be we should be good to go we should be good to go y'all <laughs> all righty guys we have it all finished our sweet candy yams my way um these are so good i hope you try them i hope they turn out awesome for you too um, I love to eat them whenever I'm, you know, feel like something a little bit sweet with my savory meal. Alrighty, guys. Well, y'all stay blessed. Love you guys.